A lot of people mistake the vulva for the vagina. These outside parts, this part that you can see that there is hair here, all these parts here, like that you can see on the outside, it is called the vulva. The vagina is the whole inside. Should you wash the vulva? Yes. Should you wash the vagina? No. If you are scrubbing down there, like it's a kitchen sink, stop it. Your vagina is not supposed to smell like rose flower, it's not supposed to smell like strawberry, it's not supposed to smell like scented soap. Washing it wrongly could actually be hurting you. So it's very important for you to wash it the right way. So on this particular video, I'm going to be showing you the right and safe way to keep things clean, fresh, and healthy. And with me here, it's Mimi. So I and Mimi, we're going to be explaining this topic in details so you understand. So if you are a lady, you are a single father and you have a daughter, this particular video is for you. Because sometimes um, single dad with no mom to actually teach their daughters, it's actually bad. So this particular video is going to help you as a single father. It's going to help you as a girl child. It's going to help you as a lady. Let's dive in. So the first thing I'm going to be explaining is the vagina and the vulva. Because a lot of people mistake the vulva for the vagina. So people call the vulva the vagina. So that is why it's very important for us to actually lay bare the, female, the external parts of the female reproductive system so you understand better. So when you pull your pants down as a lady, these outside parts, these parts that you can see that there is hair here, all these parts here, like that you can see on the outside, it is called the vulva. That is not the vagina. This outside part is called what? It is called the vulva. So you may want to ask, so where is the vagina? The vagina is the hole in self. I'm going to use hole so you understand. So the vagina is inside. The vagina is the whole inside. So what you can even see when you try to like flex or do your leg is actually the outside, the entrance of the vagina. That is what you can see on the outside. The entrance, not the vagina itself. So the vagina is like, let's just say this is the vagina. So this is the entrance. So that's what you are seeing. But the vagina is inside. So everything you see on the outside is known as the vulva. And looking at the vulva, though Mimi here doesn't have the vulva explained, I'm going to be dropping a picture, you can see it. So looking at the vulva, you have like a flap. You see two flaps, you see one big flap and you look inside. I want you to, like if possible, go to the bathroom and watch this video. Because it's very important for you to understand your body as a woman, to know what, what is really happening, to know what they are called. So if you open the like the flap, it's known as... Um, the labia majora, the bigger one, the bigger one on top is known as the labia majora. Majora simply means something big. So that's the name, labia majora. Then if you go down, you see another flap again. I, I'm calling it flap for this video. It is known as labia minora. So as a lady, you have the big flap, labia majora. You have the other flap, the labia minora. All these parts, still, they are still part of the vulva. Then if you look at the tip, you have something called the clitoris. Is different from the other part but all this all those things i just described that are outside here they are known as the vulva area of the human body of the woman's body so the why the vagina is inside so i believe you understand that so the big question is should you wash the vulva which is the outside part the answer is yes should you wash the vagina the vagina which is inside the answer is no should you wash the vulva? Yes. Should you wash the vagina? No. So the next step is how do I wash the vagina, the vulva, I mean, how do I wash the vulva properly? So now let's talk about how to wash the vulva properly. How to wash the vulva properly. You can see, this is, I want to use this as an example of the vulva. So if you are to wash it, you can wet this place with warm water. You wet it with your warm water, put warm water there. It's not advisable for you to use hot water because it might strip off the skin. It's natural barrier. 
thereby making the skin prone to irritation and inching. So preferably use warm water. And some school of thought will tell you not to use soap at all, but personally because of the hair around that area, the follicles, all your glands and everything. So I advise you to use mild, like no, mild soap, no scented soap. Because when you use scented soap, it's actually predispose that area to inching and irritation so i advise you to use soap mild soap not scented then scrub it like in your hands like put the soap in your hand like this when you put it in your hand then wash this place you know there's a lot of hair there wash it and rinse with warm water you can pat the labia minora majora i explained where the labia majora the big one pat it open and wash in between don't scrub don't use, I don't advise you use your sponge. It might cause more irritation to it. Don't scrub. Just pat it open and wash gently in between that area. In between that area, wash gently. Then use warm water to rinse. And I make it says, wash in between and use warm water to rinse. And for those that are fat or obese, like, you know, this area, the grain is very important. It's for everybody. But I just want those that are fat to take note of this very important because if not, that is where the smell emanates from when you want to have sex. Uh, your partner might not be comfortable with it. So it's very important for you to wash this grain area, your grain. Weird. It's like washing your armpits. So it's very, very important for you to wash it. Wash this two grain area. Wash it very well. Then rinse with warm water. So you're not just focusing on the vulva. You wash the side. It's going to remove the odor from this side, the heat from this side. Then rinse with warm water. All right. Then the back, the anus is not left. You wash the back too. You wash the anus. All right. All these parts are part of the down part. And smell from here can get to the front when you want to have sex with your partner or when you open your panties and all that. So generally, it's advisable for you to wash from front to back, front to back, not from the anus to the vulva. From the anus to the vulva, so that's good for you to wash from from front to actually from front to back. I don't know if I'm making sense now. So, and what I advise ladies to do is actually after um using the toilet, it's not advisable for you to use tissue paper. It's advisable for you to use water to wash, especially you as a lady. Like use water to wash this anus. Don't use tissue. Don't use except there's no option. If there's no option fine but when you get to try and use water to wash it properly because that can actually make the whole pants to be smelly and you understand anyway so that is how it's advisable for you to wash this then the next question i also answer is should i wash the full vagina i'm repeating it again the answer is no you don't need to wash the vagina so after washing, the next thing is to part with a dry towel. For those that have dry skin, for those that have dry skin, those that have eczema and psoriasis, you can moisturize with some like mild moisturizer, unscented, like just mild, just to keep that area moisturized because of the dry skin. Because when you have dry skin, that place is prone to irritation. So you can just moisturize using some mild like moisturizer just to keep that place moist. So this is the way to wash your vulva. This is the way to wash your vulva. So you don't have to take your body towel, your sponge to actually just wash it as if you are washing your kitchen sink, using all your energy, your strength to wash it as if you are using washing your kitchen sink. When you do that, you actually predispose that area to irritations, to inching, and a lot of things. So this is my personal advice to you on how to wash your vulva and never, ever, ever wash the vagina because it is not advisable. When you wash the vagina, you are only putting yourself at risk for going down with infection and you're only putting at yourself at risk for spending money on medications that you should have prevented. I hope this video helped you understand that. If you have any question, Feel free to drop on the comment section. I will be willing and ready to take that question. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.